Oh, I got a headshot. All right, y'all, so welcome back to another one. Obviously, it's dark outside tonight. Tonight, we're doing some coon hunting, and, uh, you know, obviously, the rebel dog here, he's he's retired, so we ain't hunting with a dog tonight. We're hunting with a collar, uh, an e-collar, and we're gonna try to try to kill some coons here. So, anyway, tonight, we've got the, uh, got the old Air Force Condor SS. You can give it a go. That's a 25 caliber, 25 caliber air gun and I can tell you from experience man that is the closest thing to a 22 I've ever had as far as an air gun that thing it flat gets with it so anyway obviously we don't have the dogs tonight um, so what we're going to do is we've positioned ourselves out here in the middle of this uh, cut cornfield down in the bottom area we're going to put the collar out we're going to get back off to the edge of the field here we're going to start calling uh, raccoon fighting is what we're going to use and we're going to start taking our lights and shining the field edge. Hopefully we can call a couple out of the trees. Uh, if not, normally what you'll do is you'll get them to, to look at you out of their den trees. And then we can go over and harvest them that way. So anyway, however it works out, um, we're going we're gonna to use this Air Force tonight. And we're going to put some coons on the ground. So stay tuned. All right, y'all, so we came down here, we started calling, we've been calling for about eight minutes or so, and uh, we got three of them to look at us, but they're not coming down out of the trees. So we're gonna walk over here, it's only about oh, 50, 60 yards. We're gonna shoot them out of the tree. Uh, we just can't get them to come out of the tree, but they're just sitting there staring at that call. You can hear that call playing in the background. So nice coon hunt without a dog. There he is, he's looking at us. Oh, that's a perfect shot. There we oh, go. Oh, that a success with the old Air Force. Yeah. <laughs> One shot, baby. 25 cal Condor. Here we go. 25 cal Condor SS. Put a whooping on that coon. All right, now we got two more spotted, so I'm gonna hand this off to Sean. He gonna go shoot one. He never shot the old Air Force. So, load up another pellet. That's your safety forward right there. Let's go get this other one. All right, y'all, there's Sean's coon right there. He got a perfect shot right up the old vitals there. Oh, 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 in the creek. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. That's a wet coon. That's a wet coon. My goodness. <laughs> 25 cal, baby. That's pretty impressive. We'll make a thump, don't it? Yeah. You, you, hear, you, you, you guys, I don't know if you can hear from the camera. But the, this 25 cal, it is actually quieter than the thump whenever the pellet hits the coon. <laughs> it makes such a hard hit. So anyway, there's our coon guys. I've got mine down. We've got one more up here in these trees and he turned away. So we're gonna go back out to the field and we're gonna turn the collar back on and see if we can't get him to look at us or come in and get him. Oh, there he goes. Woo! Got him. Talk about a thud, man. Finally. <laughs> Talk about a thud. All right, 
Another one for the old condor. Yep. That's three. All right, y'all, so we got the fourth coon of the night. Spotted up there in that tree. I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see him. He's, he's right there. It's all washed out for you guys, but Sean's got the old Air Force and he's gonna knock him out for us. That'll be four to a piece for us, so. Oh, oh, that got him. Look at that sucker fall. Oh. <laughs> all right so i hope you guys enjoyed that video uh you know obviously with with youtube's new guidelines it's a little more difficult to show what happens whenever that coon actually hits the ground um as you can imagine there's there's lots of red stuff uh you know these these air guns they they put a wallop on them critters uh so anyway i figured i'd just show you so this is the this is a condor ss this is as close to a 22 as i've ever seen with an air rifle um you know it, this thing it hits so hard but still is so quiet it's just amazing so anyway uh, i've now got it set up i put the atn on it so hopefully uh in the future you guys will get a little better view um i can now kind of record the, the shot uh it's just so difficult trying to film at night especially by yourself too but hopefully this will change some things um Anyway, I'd like to hear you guys' thought. Uh, I cannot wait for squirrel season. This right here is going to be, this is the squirrel gun from now on. I mean, the, the, the power of this thing combined with how quiet it is, uh, it, it's just amazing, you know? It's a funny thing, you know, I live in a state that we can't have suppressors on our firearms. However, you gotta remember, um, you know, air rifles are not um, regulated near like what regular firearms are. So I'm able to shoot this suppressed air gun. Uh, and I can tell you, I mean, it's just so quiet. And I cannot wait uh, for squirrel season, you know, to be, be shooting those squirrels cutting in them hickory trees. So I thought I'd answer just a few questions from uh, the previous video where I featured Air Force. Uh, I had quite a few questions. So anyway, uh, as far as the pellets go for hunting, uh, these were recommended to me by Cameron from Air Force. Uh, these are the Predator Poly Mags, uh, 25 caliber, 26 grain. And I tell you what, these things put a wallop on them. Um, you know, that's another thing with these air rifles now, you know, especially right now, whenever you got these ammo shortages, uh, you know, I can get online and in two days I can have these pellets at my front door and you know, no shortage. So anyway, really, uh, really like that fact of it. You know, another thing is Obviously, this is a pre-charged air rifle, so this tank back here is what delivers the power. So for this air gun right here, uh, you're looking at somewhere around 30 to 35 shots uh, out, of, out of a charge, basically. Now, there's a few different ways to charge these. Uh, you know, a lot of people go with a scuba tank. Uh, you can also buy a high-pressure air compressor. Um, I don't have options for scuba tanks where I'm at. There's not scuba tanks in, in you know several hours. So anyway, I do all of my charging here off of this. This is basically just a glorified uh, bicycle pump. It's just a high pressure bicycle pump, and uh, you know it's, it's seven to eight pumps per shot. You know, roundabout is what you're getting out of these. So yeah, no big deal at all right there. And like I said, just the convenience factor, the quietness. Um, you know, it just makes it just makes it a king, really. You know, a lot of people get. I think tied up with uh, feet per second on these air rifles and I don't think that's quite as important as the energy uh, and this thing just packs such a wall up um, you know I've got this thing set on I think 10 right now and I mean you can see we were taking shots uh, you know 40 plus yards at them coons like I said I've, I've shot squirrels out to about 65 yards now with this thing and uh, you know, I can tell you, it is it is definitely a, a game changer for me. Like I said, got the ATN on there now, so hopefully in the future we'll have some we'll have some real nice, crisp, cool videos. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap up this video. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below if you like these types of videos. We'll definitely try to do more in the future. Uh, definitely go check out Air Force. Their link will be linked down below. Um, you know, they, they make some high quality equipment here. And this, this Condor SS here is, it's a hunting rifle. I mean, that's, that's exactly what it is. This is not your Red Rider BB gun. This is a hunting rifle and it gets the job done. So with that being said, guys, as always, hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Appreciate the view and we'll see you on the next one.